everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally filming my entire ready to wear collection. I'll be showing you my small collection. Well, it turns out it is not as small as I thought it was. <laughs> so yeah, if you're interested, to keep watching. I don't know if you guys noticed but I have actually stopped buying fast fashion well I haven't completely stopped but I definitely buy less fast fashion and that is because I've noticed that I do wear my designer clothes more I get a lot more wear out of them they fit better they feel nicer and they last longer one of the main reasons people stay away from designer clothes is the hefty price tag and I do agree they do cost a lot however it just so happens that some of the first pieces that I want to show you in this video are one of my most favorites, one of my most worn and one of the cheapest and they're still designer. So let me start by showing you. So one of the first pieces that I want to show you is this gorgeous Balenciaga blouse that I love so much. I scored this baby 70, even 80% off. And I bought it last year because of ShopTagger. You know, guys, that I've, I've been using an app called ShopTagger on my phone. I have it on my computer as well because it works on desktop and on your phone. And I got a notification and I scored this blouse for 300, actually less, 280 pounds. And the original price is a bit more than a thousand, I believe. Many of the clothes that you see in this video I bought 40 even 50% off so I wanted to quickly mention my favorite online shopping assistant and um, show you how it works. So the first thing you need to do is to download the ShopTagger browser button. It works both on Safari and Google Chrome. After that you can go to your favorite online stores but you can find a list of all online retailers on ShopTagger as well. Then you choose the item you want to buy and save it to your shop tagger by clicking the shop tagger button. You can save items to different wish lists and categories so they are easy to find. I've split mine into shoes, accessories, clothes, bags you can see here on the screen. So this way everything is very organized and easy to find. You don't have to constantly stalk websites and check if your item is on sale and that's all I love about ShopTagger because you will get a push notification on your phone if you have the ShopTagger app or you'll get an email when an item is back in stock or in sale. It also notifies you when an item is low in stock. Another reason that I love ShopTagger is the new feature that they launched. You can now view coupon codes at checkout. So you don't have to go and spend time searching for coupon codes that may or may not work. ShopTagger would search the entire internet for the best code to apply and save you the most amount of money when you're purchasing the item. See how easy it is to use ShopTagger? I'm telling you guys, it is a game changer. It helps you plan and organize your shopping. So if you're interested, I'm sure many of you are already signed up in using ShopTagger and saving a ton of money. However, if you're not signed up already, it is completely free and I'll leave a link down below for you to download and start shopping. <laughs> So let's go back to my favorite Balenciaga blouse that I bought. I do wear this blouse mainly in the evenings when I go out to a fancy dinner, let's say, or if I have an event. It looks fabulous. I love that you can tie it in a bow or you can wear it open. I love these long fabric bits. <laughs> so it's a very, very classic piece. It's black and white and it is made of a beautiful silk fabric. Balenciaga! So this gorgeous knitwear is probably my most worn piece in my entire wardrobe. I'm not joking, I have worn this to death and it still looks perfect. It is a bit bobbly now, but guys, I have worn it. I don't know how many times I've worn it. I'm telling you, I've probably worn it more than 100 times. And it is so beautiful. It was such a good investment. I remember this was one of my first ever more expensive pieces that I bought. I did have a few designer t-shirts but this was my first very expensive designer ready to wear piece and when I bought it I felt sick I remember because it was so expensive and I wasn't sure if I'll use it enough uh, but I'm so glad that I kept it at the end because it was such a good investment and I love it so much that I actually want to buy it in another color. I wouldn't mind buying it in like one or two other colors. 
another favorite and a big score because of my favorite shop tagger is this Balmain cardigan. I bought this on Black Friday with a discount code that I received from shop tagger. I got a sales notification on my phone and I got this 40% off. Guys, I saved up so much on this piece and it's such a classic Bauman piece to have in your wardrobe. I love the print, I love the houndstooth print. It is black and white, very classic. It has the classic Bauman buttons. I wish they were gold, they are silver, but I don't mind that. I really love the fit of this cardigan. I love the shoulder pads that give you a more structured look, very elegant. And then you can cinch in your waist with the belt and it gives you an hourglass figure, very elegant and beautiful. I also love the fabric. It is my favorite mohair fluffy fabric. So yeah, I love this piece to death. My next Bauman piece is currently at the dry cleaners, so I can't show you it right now, but I'll insert a short clip so you can see. I have this beautiful Bauman blazer. I wore this twice already. I wore it once during the day and I wore it to a dinner and it looks so beautiful on. I got so many compliments. I love these Bauman blazers. I definitely want to buy it in more colors now. I have the beautiful beige color that I love with the gold buttons. I definitely want to get a classic black next and maybe a more colorful one, maybe a gray one because I love gray. So I'd love to get it in more colors. It is currently at the dry cleaners, so I actually have to go and collect it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll insert a little clip so you can see um, the piece here. Yeah, let's move on to the next brand. My one and only Burberry piece is this Burberry sweatshirt that, guys, I love so much. Another piece that I have worn so many times and I love it. I got this as a present from my mom for Christmas, I think two Christmases ago. Two or three Christmases ago, I can't even remember now, it was a long time ago. There is, I need to wash this because there is some makeup <laughs> on the neckline. Um, I did wear it a couple of days ago. But yeah, it is one of my favorite pieces. It is super warm, it is actually uh, lined inside, it's super super soft inside and it keeps you very warm. I got mine in a size medium and of course in the beautiful grey colour. To me this was definitely a good buy, I think I would wear this season after season and it won't date. I can't believe this is my only Burberry piece that I own, I definitely want to get a classic Burberry trench next. Oh Chanel, Chanel. Next we have Chanel and I am already wearing one of my latest Chanel um, acquisitions and it is this beautiful Chanel dress. I actually ended up exchanging this dress. This is actually not the same dress that I showed you in the world. Well, it's the same dress but it's a different size. I actually ended up exchanging my one for a smaller size. Do you guys remember in my unboxing video which I uploaded? Previously, I think it was one or two videos ago, I told you that I got mine in size 40 and I really wanted size 38. So 40 was fine, but there was a bit of extra material at the back. So I didn't like that and I did say to my SA that if they find me the dress in a smaller size, I would like to exchange it. So my SA called me and they said they have the 38. So I went and swapped it for a 38, which I definitely prefer. Now it fits better. It is slightly shorter, but I don't mind it. So yeah, this is one of my newest Chanel dresses and I have only worn it at home actually. So I can't wait to wear it more. I think it will be such a forever dress and I love that it could be worn more casual, but you can also dress it up for evenings, in events. So I am really, really happy that I bought it. My second Chanel item that I have, actually this is the first Chanel piece that I ever bought and after that I bought this dress from the current collection. This one here is the beautiful, famous Chanel red jumper from the Fall Winter 2019 collection. I still can't believe this is mine because I thought I would never be able to get this because it was such a popular piece that everyone wanted. It does make me a bit bigger because of this fabric, but I don't mind it. I feel like a red teddy bear every time I wear it. It is super warm. I got mine in size 40 for reference. I just realized I've worn it only three times this winter, which is not enough. So I definitely have to wear it more and I will because I love it so much. Um, there are no buyers regrets. I still love this jumper and I don't regret buying it at all. 
All right, next is Fendi. I do have two pieces only from Fendi. This one I bought from Neto Cote and it is in the original dust bag and it is the beautiful Fendi poncho. <laughs> this was another very hard to get piece because of the Fendi FF uh, logo craze like two years ago. Was it two? Yeah, I think it was two years ago. Everyone was crazy, Fendi prints on everywhere. This poncho also came in the classic um, brown Fendi print, but I knew I wanted this more colorful one. I thought it would go with a lot more outfits uh, because of all the colors. I can wear it with any of the colors that it has on it. I love the beautiful deep green, the blues, the red, the pink. I haven't worn it enough, I feel. I wish I have worn it more times. So I will definitely try and wear it more this year. I think it's beautiful. I don't want to let it go yet. I'm not ready to part with this beautiful Fendi poncho. And this was another more reasonably priced piece, I would say, because, you know, Fendi is so expensive. Um, so I think it was under £1,000. So I'm glad that I got it. It's so beautiful and... Very stylish. I love Fendi clothes because they are so stylish. So, and it's not too much. I mean, it still has the Fendi logo, but it's not too in your face. So I love that. Next, I have this beautiful Fendi bodysuit that I bought end of last year. And this, as far as I remember, was from the previous collection. Not the current one, the one before. And these bodysuits came in this nude color and black. I picked up the nude. Actually, this was quite a popular piece and it got sold out quite quick. I think bodysuits are so versatile and especially this sheer one, you can layer under clothes. You can wear on its own. It looks amazing with blazers on. I love the FF print. This is actually the beautiful calligraphy print. And um, it's from, I believe, Carl Lagerfeld's last collection with Fendi. So I'll treasure this. It is so beautiful and I can't wait to wear it more. Next in my wardrobe, you'll find a the Gucci t-shirt. And I'm saying a the Gucci t-shirt because this is like... This piece was crazy popular three years ago. It was impossible to find. I was searching for this high and low everywhere, sold out everywhere, and I ended up buying the men's style because the women's t-shirts were sold out. I remember searching for this t-shirt for months and months and months. I got mine in size. What size is my one? I think mine is size small. These Gucci t-shirts run very big. So if you're still considering getting a Gucci t-shirt, I would say go two or three sizes down if you can because it runs extremely big. My next Gucci piece is this Gucci cardigan. Many of you probably know that I picked this up right before I was traveling and I bought it for traveling. Well, basically it was a, a bit of an unplanned purchase. I did go thinking about buying a pair of joggers and I didn't buy the joggers. I ended up buying this cardigan and I'm actually really glad that I did. I got a ton of wear out of this cardigan and the price was really good. I really thought when I tried it on, I really thought it would be more than a thousand pounds, but I think it was about 800 and it is, it was definitely worth the investment. I have worn it quite a few times and I love it. It is perfect for spring and even for like summer in the evenings when it gets a bit chilly. It is a perfect transitional piece, so it's good for layering and I can also wear it is a top tucked in jeans and is a cardigan. I love to wear it with silky cami tops and I love a bit of a sparkle. So this is a very dark navy, almost black with gold shimmering threads through it. So yeah, I love that piece so much. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. <laughs> All right, so this next Gucci hoodie is probably my most worn Gucci clothing piece that I have. I have worn this so many times and it was such a good investment. And actually I did buy this on sale, I remember on Boxing Day two Christmases ago, and it was such a hit. I knew I was gonna wear it. I wanted to buy a Gucci sweatshirt, but the price tag was stopping me. I think I saved about 300 or 350 pounds on this, so it was a great, find. It is not a very warm hoodie actually so it doesn't really keep me very very warm but I do layer it. I always wear one of these thermal tops if I want to wear it in the winter when it's cold. I love this because it's 
quite different uh, it's not just the typical like Gucci logo sweatshirt I did want to pick up something different and I really loved the two tigers um, so yeah and it's like a pop of color with two orange tigers so I love that one Next is Louis Vuitton and I'll start with this beautiful Louis Vuitton white shirt on a Balenciaga hanger. <laughs> Whoops, I think I swapped the hangers but um, ignore that. This is probably one of my most beautiful Louis Vuitton pieces that I own. It is perfection. It still has the tags which means I haven't worn it. So was it a good investment? Yes, it was. I still don't regret buying it. I think it's beautiful. I did buy it, I think, in last year in the autumn. So I didn't have time to wear it in the summer because I bought it quite late in the year. And it was already quite chilly outside, so I didn't get a chance to wear it. But I will definitely wear it more now in spring coming, in summer. I'm very excited to wear it. Um, it is not a trendy piece that I can't wear season after season. To me, this is such a classic piece. This is probably the only piece I'm a bit scared of wearing because it's so white, like crisp white. And I did wear it once in a video, to film a video at home. And I did try it two times and it already has some makeup marks on the neckline. This is why I'm a bit scared, but... I bought it to wear, so I'll definitely wear it. I'll be brave and start wearing it as soon as it gets warm outside. But to me, this is such a beautiful piece. I love the gold detailing and it has that LV monogram all over it. So, yeah. More Louis Vuitton. And this one is still in its original bag. Dust bag, sorry. So this is my Louis Vuitton. This is the hanger. This is the Louis Vuitton skirt. Oh my god, I love this piece so much. I did wear it a couple of times already. It is definitely a more wintry piece because it is a thicker wool fabric. But I do tend to wear skirts actually more in the autumn and winter periods, I have noticed. I have seen this skirt in a beautiful green, like a pistachio green in previous collections. In the current collection, they have it in the most beautiful purplish blue color. I did consider buying that one, but... I'm trying to stay away from Louis Vuitton at the moment because I did buy quite a few pieces recently. So I'm still enjoying this one. <laughs> and yeah, I'm happy that I got mine in the classic monogram. And yeah, it's a black with the classic monogram color. So I love it. One of my most recent purchases is this beautiful Louis Vuitton t-shirt. I haven't worn this one yet because uh, I bought it uh, a bit after Christmas, I believe. So I'm very excited to wear it this summer and this one also came in white but I picked up the black one. I love the little chain detail. It is a really nice thick cotton fabric and it fits so nicely. I love how the sleeves look. So this is from the Icons collection. I believe it was a bit under £500 and um, it fits oversized but I would say get your normal size but if you prefer more oversized relaxed fit go a size up. This next Louis Vuitton piece might be my most worn item and it is this beautiful Louis Vuitton dress. I knew I was gonna get a ton of wear out of this dress. I really wanted to buy it. I knew it would be a good investment and it definitely is. I got mine in size medium. It fits like a glove and it is so flattering on and I love that it's black. So it is, to me, this is a forever piece. This will never date. I love the little gold button detailing on the shoulder. It is very beautiful and it is so soft and super warm. It is a mix. I think it's like a wool and cashmere mix and it keeps me so warm. I love wearing knitted dresses in autumn and winter and this one is hands down my favorite one. So I'm really glad that I got it and I believe it's still available. So you might be able to get this one still and it also comes, this exact same design comes in a top version. So if you're not a dress person, maybe check out the Top one, it is the exact same material, but it's a long sleeved um, top, so yeah. One of my newest pieces, I recently did an unboxing, so I'm not gonna talk too much about this piece, because I have already shown you this in my, I think, previous video, actually. So this is my newest Louis Vuitton coat. This is such a dreamy piece. It is so beautiful. 
This was quite an expensive piece, but to me it was worth buying because it's always cold in the UK and I know I would wear it a lot. It is a very beautiful coat. The attention to detail is spectacular. I love all the little details from the buttons to the belt to the little leather details on the back as well. And the lining is definitely my favorite. And look how beautiful it is, so stunning. And you can see it peeking hair from the little sleeves so yeah next is my one and only max mara piece it is this very long uh, max mara coat that i have in the most beautiful chocolate brown color i picked up this coat from bista village and i saved up so much i think i bought it almost half price and I love it so much guys. It is the perfect length. I'm quite tall. I'm 170 centimeters, which is about 5'6". And I love long coats on me. And this one is super long. And I've been trying to find a very, very long floor length almost coat for a while. And I saw this, I tried it on and it fits perfect. I got mine in size 10 and it's definitely true to size. It fits perfectly and the fabric is... It is quite a thin fabric, so I would say it's perfect for when it's not super cold outside. <laughs> but I can always layer and put a thermal top underneath if I want to wear it now. It's very chilly at the moment in the UK. So yeah, but this will be perfect for the transitional period. And I love that it has the very like big slits on the sides. But I'll try and show you that on the cutaways. So when I was putting back things in my wardrobe, I realized I completely forgot to show you my Miu Miu denim jacket that I bought last year, I think around my birthday, and I had to show you it, so I decided to insert a short clip. And this is the cropped denim jacket. I love the wash of the jacket. I bought it, I can't remember the size I bought it in now, but I think I bought it in a quite small size because it runs very big. But I love the wash and I love the ribbon detail. It has cute little ribbons on uh, the front, on the pockets, uh, which are satin. And I really love the patch Mew Mew detail at the back. You'll see it in a bit. Um, so yeah, and the lining is also satin. Very, very beautiful. Saint Laurent, previously known as YSL, this is my uh, t-shirt that I have, I actually have another t-shirt, I just remembered, I thought that was my one and only piece, but I do have another one that I'll show you in a bit, I'll go grab it because I think I forgot it in my wardrobe. So this t-shirt I have worn so much and I just love it, it's such a beautiful lightweight cotton um, fabric. It is such a great summer piece. It doesn't keep you hot. It is very airy which I love and this one was actually quite long when I bought it so I had to bring it to my tailor so they can make it shorter. I actually think my one was very long because I ordered this from the men's section because the women's style was sold out. It was a very popular design that was sold out so I ended up buying mine uh, from the men's section I believe on Farfetch and it was very long so I decided to make it shorter, I brought it to the tailor and they chopped it off. <laughs> I just went and grabbed this t-shirt that I have from Saint Laurent. This is one of the iconic classic t-shirts with the little Saint Laurent logo on it. This one I think I bought last year. This one I got on sale from Louis of Aroma again because of Shop Tagger. Uh, so I saved up I think 50% on this piece and I'm very happy. This one comes in so many colors. I love the white one but I didn't want to get the white because of my fake tan. You know I wear fake tan and I tend to stain, leave little marks <laughs> on my white clothes. So I try to avoid especially t-shirts because I do wear a lot of t-shirts in the summertime. Um, so I bought the black one but it comes in so many colors. So I definitely want to pick up another one, maybe something bright for summer like red or blue or pink. It will be great for summer, so yeah. My one and only piece from Unravel project. I picked up this gorgeous jumper 
quite recently I think I showed you this piece in my what I got for Christmas video I love it so much you know that I'm obsessed with knitwear and this is hands down one of my most beautiful um, knitwear pieces I love it so much I love the colors I love the prints I love this zebra slash tiger we're still debating we're not sure what it is exactly prints mixed with um, leopards I love the design and the fit it is such a unique piece it has a zipper that you can undo and wear um, almost like one it looks almost off shoulder I have to insert a picture so you can see but yeah it is a beautiful jumper it's more hair it's fluffy and beautiful and I love it and it's extremely warm so it's great for um, when it's really cold <laughs> All right, guys, we're done. That was it. This is my entire ready-to-wear collection. If you want to see more ways of how to style all these beautiful clothes, you can always come and follow me on my Instagram. I would love to see you there. I show you my new pieces and uh, my daily outfits, give you some outfit inspo. So if you're interested, come say hello on my Instagram. I would love to see you there as well. Let me know which was your favorite piece in this collection video, or actually, let's make it more fun. Let me know which are the three pieces pieces you would steal from my wardrobe. I would love to read your comments. Thank you so so much for watching again and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys!